Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So this is the topic 5, Foundation of Business Intelligence, Database and Information Management. Okay, so what you will learn for this topic. So we have 5 lesson outcomes here. The first one, describe problems of managing data resources in a traditional file environment. Two, recognize the capabilities of DBMS. Third, identify the principal tools and technologies for assessing uh, information from databases to improvise the business performance and decision making. Fourth, determine why information policy, data administration, and data quality assurance is essential for managing the firm's data resources. And lastly, to define the roles of knowledge management system in business. So, first of all, we need to understand about terms and concepts in a filing or uh, in a filing system. Okay, so we start with here, right? So, uh, we have uh, this is what we call as a bit. Okay, uh, computer, uh, if I uh, uh, already mentioned, computer did not understand about the other the other character except 0 and 1. So 0 and 1 we call it as a bit. So uh, 8 bit equivalent to 1 byte. Okay, 1 byte equivalent to 8 bits. Right, so this one we have 16 bits so equivalent equivalent, equivalent to 2 bytes. So the, the lower ranking for the filing system is will be the bit. Then we move up to byte. Okay, so then Okay, we have fill. What is fill? Fill is a group of character. Group of character um, in the same category. For example, here, so we have customer. So in the customer, you must have the customer ID, customer name, customer phone number, customer address, customer email. So the uh, all the customer ID, name, phone number, we call it as the attributes. And uh, uh, the customer table itself, we call it as an entity. Okay, so when, what, which one is uh, we call as a field? This is what we call as a field. So when you have customer ID, so you have the group of characters, the same, the same group of characters. So not the same detail, but the same data type. Okay, the same data type. So this is what we call as a field. Okay, then we move to Record. So, record is a group of related fields. And usually, we, we read field as the column. We read record as the row. Okay? Column and row. Field and record. Okay? So, group of related fields. So, means that if you read uh, uh, customer A, so customer A, customer ID will be 111, name will be Ali bin Abu, phone number is 019-123-4567. Okay? Alright, after record, we have file. So, what is file? File is group of records of same type. So, meaning that all the data in the customer entity must have the same uh, the same type. So, meaning that, okay, what we call as a customer, everything is about a, a customer. We can, you cannot put about the inventory, you cannot put about other things except the customer. So, this is what we call as a file. And a group of related files, we call it as a database. So, database, uh, usually we call it as a system. So, uh, what is the related um, item here? Okay, so I give the example like uh, student registration system. So, student registration system, so who will involve in student registration system should be the student, the, pro, the subject, the faculty, the lecturer, and the registration. So, all these are related to each other. So, this is what we call as a database. Okay. Okay. So, in a database, we have the file. So, we have student file, lecturer file, subject file, faculty file. Okay. So, in the file, okay, we have, for example, like student. So, we have the student data. So, student data. So, for example, like student data, student data is Ali bin Abu. So, what is the customer ID? What is the gender? What is the contact number for Ali bin Abu? Okay, and in the student ID, you have the same data type. So, the data type should be the number. So, uh, everything must be in number. You cannot put the alphabet. You cannot put the symbol in one column. That's what we call as a field. Okay, and then we have byte and bit. Okay, so this is example. 
Okay, what I already mentioned before. Okay. So what are the problems? Okay. Uh, when you have uh, many department in organizations, so for example, here we have four departments. So they have their own user. Okay, and they have their own application and they have their own file. So you have too many files in one place. So it will lead to data redundancy. When we become data redundancy, for example, in human resource, you have data Ali bin Abu. But in accounting and finance, Ali bin Abu is working with you. So you must have the payrolls uh, uh, about the payroll system. So it will relate. Okay, so it will... Uh, it will... Uh, incur the data redundancy and then data inconsistency for example like ali bin abu ali b i n bin okay so maybe in other department they will put as ali b dot abu still you read as ali bin abu okay so benda macam ni yang akan ada data inconsistency okay and then processing inflexibility uh, processing inflexibility dia tak flexible at all Okay, uh, uh, maknanya macam, uh, if I want to access some data, I have to go to the human resource. I cannot go to account and finance because I cannot locate the data. Okay, and I wasted storage resources because many data, the same data in a many location. Okay, uh, for example, if you uh, can see in your daily life as a student, uh, kalau you nampak, you akan nampak ada huruf N4. And for mean that it is for Seremban campus. Okay, and then EM225, EM228, EM110, EM120. This is your program. Then, uh, baru you punya group. Okay, for example, and for EM228, 1A. Seremban campus, which program, which group. Itu cara dibaca. So, bila uh, ada setengah, Dia tak, bila I kata data ecosystem ni, macam contohnya, in Sriman Campus, all lecturers, we manage to do that. Okay, this is the particular that we have to follow. But uh, in Negeri Semila Isaf, in, for example, in Rembau and Kolepila Campus, maybe they do not uh, assign that particular uh, as the same as a Sriman Campus. Uh, for example, in Sriman Campus, we use N4 AM2281A. But in Kuala Pila, maybe they will use EM2281A. You nampak tak dekat sini? So, N4 tu tak ada. As, of course, dia bukan N4. Sebab N4 tu first rumah campus. So, dia will be N3. So, um, dia tak buat benda macam tu. So, maknanya dia tak consistent. Maknanya, some of the campuses, they have the campus name. And they have the campus code. Sorry. But in other campus, they do not have the campus code. So, benda ni akan jadi inconsistency. Alright. Um, so, I dah cerita tadi, data redundancy, data inconsistency, program data dependence. When you change the program, require changes to data access by a program. So, the two depend on the program. And then, lack of flexibility. So, you cannot deliver the ad hoc report. Sometimes, when the top management asks you, okay, I want the report from uh, 1st to uh, 5th of December. So, I want that uh, that report now. Okay, but if you have the, the manual system, how you want to locate all, all the data they want to put uh, and what you want to deliver to top management, okay? Uh, uh, at hoc plot too. So, what happened when you have the system? So, they akan jadi macam ni lah. So, you tak flexible benda tu. You have, uh, they akan, you akan wasting time. And then, for security, Data control or management of data because you cannot secure all the data. You doesn't know who can reach your data. Okay. And then uh, you never know that whether your data is incorrect or correct. And then lack of data sharing and availability because you you are not available it uh, maybe in online. And then you cannot share to anybody. That's why they have to create another data for them. Okay. So this is what happened. Okay, now we move to database management system. So, what is database? Okay, database is a collection of data organized to serve many applications by centralize the data and control the redundant data. So, what is database management system? It is a software. Okay, actually, DBMS is a software that are, uh, that will allow you to, to centralize the data, 
manage the data, provide the access to the data, okay, by using the application programs, whatever DBMS software that we can use. And it is also the interface between the applications and physical data file. Applications is a software, physical is your hardware. Okay, and separate the logical and physical view of data. Physically, you akan dapat macam ni. Logically, you akan dapat macam ni. So, dia akan ada beza lah. Okay, it is the solutions to the problems whatever yang kita ada tadi. This is other problems. So, this is the solutions by, okay, so macam ni dah overcome the problem. So, they will control the redundancy. They will not reduce. They will not eliminate. But they will control, okay, eliminate inconsistency. Uncouple programs in data and enables organizations to central manage data and data security. Okay, so this is example. All the data for the employees will put in human resource database. But if you want to view about the benefit, okay, you just access the data from this system, okay, and then you just view for benefit. But if you want to view as a payroll, so kita ambil whatever yang berkaitan saja, yang related saja. Then, kita boleh masukkan. Maknanya, you nampak tak? Dia akan duduk satu tempat. Tapi, kita boleh tarik benda tu keluar. Okay, to, to become our data. We move to relational database tables. Okay, this is the tables. Okay, the tables. So, um, in the table, so it represent the two-dimensional. Two-dimensional means you have the color and row. Okay, and that each table contains attributes and entity. So, this is entity, supplier, part, this is attributes. Supply number, supplier name, supplier street, supplier city, supplier state, and supplier zip. Okay, so row records for different entities. Field is a column, key field, primary key, and foreign key. So, key field ni, dia akan ada... You akan tengok lah, okay, which one is your key field? So, yang mana yang boleh tak takkan ada uh, sebarang pengulangan? Okay, okay, so here we have supply number. So, supply number ni dia adalah key field dan juga dia adalah primary key. Foreign key adalah dia adalah primary key di tempat lain. So, contohnya, macam dekat sini. Okay, so ini adalah kita punya primary key. Tapi, bila dia duduk dekat table lain, dia akan jadi foreign key. Okay, for key. Next, we have non-relational databases. No SQL, structured query language. Okay, um, so non-relational databases in, for no uh, SQL, it will use more flexible data model. Data sets stored across distributed machines, easier to scale, handle large volumes of unstructured and structured data. For example, we can use this software, this platform, Oracle No SQL database so this is an example for database in the cloud so if you can see uh, we have um, because nowadays we are using the cloud computing so we are using the database in the cloud so they will support by using this software so we can use uh, either Amazon RDS or Oracle or Microsoft SQL as well okay so this is what uh, what are the uh the the uh the scenario that you have to understand okay about the traveler you know but eh, they they want to go to for the agency they will do the booking okay so they akan dapat benda ni so dia menggunakan cloud okay menggunakan cloud all uh, right okay so uh i will stop until here for this video so, I will uh, continue with you with the capabilities of TBMS.